Tonight, our series I can't afford to live here brings you a part of the solution to Charlotte's affordable housing crisis. Evictions are an inevitable side of effect of rising rents. The most recent report on housing and homelessness shows a 12% increase from the previous year. That means more families are finding themselves on the streets and now a local organization is working to help families find a way home. Amy Anderson is moving into her new home. I'm a handy to you. After spending weeks living in a hotel, she and her son are happy to have their own furniture to put together. I had recently lost my job and the income that we were that I was doing, you know, with driving Lyft and my son's bracelet business, it just was not enough. Amy's story is not what you might expect. She's college educated with a history of earning 15 to $18 an hour. But in Charlotte, rents rise faster than wages. It didn't take long before Amy was evicted. When my heart races, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's anxiety. Um, you know, my mind just goes back to, to other times when I've experienced being displaced from my home. Trying to make ends meet is a challenge even if you are working and making the best decisions possible in the budget that you have. A Way Home helped Amy through her eviction. The organization provides temporary rental subsidies and support to families who are experiencing homelessness. Supported by a $20 million endowment, the program finds that three out of four families who receive help successfully transition to permanent homes. It costs us about $11,000 in rental subsidies over two years. Shelter costs are double that. Amy worries about the impact on her children. This could have been something that he was doing just to have extra spending money, um, but you know, unfortunately, it, it pays the bills. Research shows the stress of an eviction lasts for years. In January, a Georgia Tech football recruit committed suicide under the pressure of living out of a car and hotel. That story hit Amy hard. I then, not only with my own mental health, um, having to keep myself in check, having to keep my children in check. Are there any signs that this scenario is just too much for them? Amy says it can take just one health diagnosis, domestic issue, job loss or accident to create a personal housing crisis. You may have things going very well in your life, um, but just know that any, any given day, things can totally change. Amy is forming a grassroots organization with help from Crisis Assistance Ministry to offer workshops on tenant rights, the eviction process, and finding affordable housing.